Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Wednesday. It is August the 23rd, 2017. I'm going to look at races 1 and 8 from Saratoga, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections for race courses around the world. So let's get on to it. going to look at the first race, which is a jumps race, and race number 8, which is the featured flat race. The first race, the jumps race from Saratoga, is the Michael J. Walsh Novice chase per $75,000 it's for four-year-olds and upwards which have never won over hurdles prior to March the 1st of 2016 or which have never won three races field of 10 horses here going the distance of ground here of two miles and three eight over the jumps course which is the inner turf course two miles three eighths my top pick in this one, I like the number eight horse. Number eight, who is Moscato? I'm going to go eight, three, six, two in the super factor. Eight, three, six, two, super. My top pick, number eight, Moscato, three to one. McDermott gets the leg up for Jack Fisher, who trains the six year old gelding out of Hernando. Most recently, 26th of July at Saratoga, two miles into 16th in the Jonathan Kaiser Memorial. This horse finished second by one and three quarter lengths that day. You know, just sat off the second most of the race. You know, he closed closed up a tiny bit but you know he might have needed that race it was his first start in two months i think second off the layoff with a little bit of extra ground he should have a very good run start before down in nashville and two miles and a quarter over the hurdles in the lounge race for forty six thousand on may the 13th horse won by six and a half lengths he was on the leader all throughout jumped well easy easy victory that day great race for this horse and then um on the 29th of uh, april two miles and eighth over the hurdles and main special way for twenty nine thousand. horse won by seven and a quarter lengths that second most race but got the lean took off clear a very easy victory you know he in north america this horse has only finished uh you know he's he's either been one two uh you know he's never finished uh below that in north america and um you know here he should have a very good run off the layoff before april of 2017 he was running in england over the jumps most recently um on boxing day at kempton two miles five eights and just a basic handicap he finished 11th that day by 14 and a half lengths high weight he just really couldn't keep up with them uh, before they finished second at Leicester in a jumps race, and then Ludlow finished second in a jumps race there, and uh, third at uh, at uh, Ascot in this past uh, October over the jumps. But here, you know, lesser quality horses, lower weight, he should have a very good run. So this horse will be my top pick. So to recap my bets for the first from Saratoga, it's Michael J. Walsh, novice. Going to go with the eight horse here, Moscato. Going to go eight, three, six, two with the Superfacta. To race number eight now from uh, Saratoga, the eighth race, is the 14th running of the John's Call Stakes. Purse $100,000. It's for three year olds and upwards. Number one, a great sweepstakes on the turf in 2017. Field of seven horses going the distance of ground here of 20. Uh, 2,700 meters, if you want to go by that. I think that's the right distance, or 2,600 meters, actually. 2,600 meters, or a mile and five-eighths on the Mellon Turf course. For the stayers, like they say, mile five-eighths. Named after the great horse John's Call. And, um, you know, this is always a great race in years past. Um, you know, this year you have some very nice horses running in it. And um, I think you have a bit of a price, I think, that's going to win here. And that's going to be the two-horse, Mr. Sai, my top pick. I'm going to go 2-5. Three four in the super fact. A two five three four super top pick number two, Mr. Psy. Uh, fifteen to one. Chris DiCarlo is on this five row gelding out of Hive Chaparral. Uh, this horse is trained by Elizabeth Voss. Um, you know this horse has run pretty well in Europe, not in North America so much, but I think he's 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 finally found the right race, I think. But most recently on the 8th of July at Delaware Park, mile and a half in the Cape Hendelson Stakes, horse finished fifth by seven lengths that day. You know, he, he just didn't have the best of trips that day. Um, you know, he, he, he wanted to close up a little bit at the end, and he did, but he, he, he just didn't, you know, he needs a little bit more ground, which he's going to get today. Start before at Belmont, mile and a half, and also 6-2 claimer on the 28th of April, Memorial Day weekend. Horse is just finishing seventh by three and a half lengths. You know, he just was very, very wide that day. And he don't want to be wide at, on the Widener turf course at uh, Belmont. 
a disappointing beat, and then in Virginia, two miles, mile and a half in the Secretary of Stakes. First start in North America, this horse finished second by three and a half lengths that day, and, you know, he closed up well at the end. I think, um, you know, when he was running in Europe, he ran pretty well under the care of John Gosden. You know, he finished fourth at Salisbury in the Lounge Race, um, and uh, Goodwood in the uh, Lewis Madges March Stakes, you know, great listed stakes, which actually is coming up this weekend. Uh, this horse finished third by 12 lengths that day, but with Frankie Dettori, it closed up well. Uh, wasn't a half bad run there. Um, and then his last victory came in the Baharian Trophy of 2015 at Newmarket going a mile five eight. It's the same distance. He's finally getting the distance he wants. 15 1. You cannot throw this horse out. He's been training well. Watch out for him to run a big one. So, if I count my bets for the eighth from Saratoga, it's the 14th running of the John's Calls Stakes. Gonna go with the two horse, Mr. Sai. Gonna go 2 5 3 4 in the Superfecta. So, good luck to all. And please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.